Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Annalisa and today I am doing some fan art for the Fairyland series. I have been wanting to make a piece like this uh, for almost a year. I first read the Fairyland series back in I believe August of 2018. Fairly shortly after that I came up with this concept of wanting to paint these two characters who are <laughs> These are some fairly odd names, so I'll be explaining them. <laughs> but this is A through L, the Wyverary, and Blunderbuss, the animated stuffed wombat. Uh, and by animated, I don't mean drawn, I mean that <laughs> she was an inanimate object and now she is animated and has life. <laughs> you heard me refer to A through L as a Wyverary and uh, the origins of that title and his name are the same. In the Fairyland series, the main character is a little girl named September, and fairly early on in her first adventure, she comes across a wyvern, a big red wyvern. Except when he introduces himself, she finds out he is <laughs> a wyverary, which is, um, his mother was a wyvern and his father was a library. This sounds quite odd, but it is very much in line with the surrealism that is in a lot of the Fairyland series. I talked about when I did my review of this series about how it's very fantastical and there's magic everywhere and most of it doesn't make sense according to our usual laws. The way that the magic functions is more along the lines of Alice in Wonderland rather than Harry Potter. There are very few rules and lots of exceptions, so uh, that's what makes it possible for a wyvern and a library to have had babies. And in fact, he is one of several. He has some siblings uh, who I don't believe we meet in person during the series but he talks about them. And his name is A through L because <laughs> since he is the child of a library, he has memorized parts of a encyclopedia, a very exhaustive encyclopedia. And so he has uh, memorized letters A through L. So he knows about everything that starts with uh, the letters, that section of the alphabet. He has, I believe, two siblings, and they are two more sections of the alphabet, L and N. So it's M through something and then S through something are the names of his siblings. One of the other features of this library that hints at his strange ancestry in this painting is that on his wings, according to the book, there are written out tiny little, uh, very faint words from an encyclopedia and so his uh, wings have writing all over them. You'll be seeing me adding that at the end. Then we have this other uh, <laughs> this other creature named Blunderbuss. Blunderbuss is introduced in the fourth book which is called The Boy Who Lost Fairyland and she was uh, put together by the main character of that book, uh, Thomas Hawthorne's mother. Thomas slash Hawthorne was a changeling, and so his human mother wanted to make him a toy that he could enjoy, and he asked specifically for a wombat, because he's a very strange child, and he wanted strange things, and he really liked wombats. So <laughs> that's what Blunderbuss is. In the story, she is very thoroughly described. The colors of both of her ears, of the top half of her face, the colors of her eyes, and that they were buttons, her muzzle color, her uh, teeth being, I believe, coat clasps, all her leg colors and her tail colors, and the fact that she had a bunch of different colors all over her body, and that she has this little, what's it called? That little barrel that some dogs have around their necks. She has one of those. 
And so she was very fun and somewhat easy to paint because I had all that description. I really wanted to make something as close to what the book described as possible. And so because it was so uh, thoroughly described, that was quite easy. But it was also somewhat difficult to get the face. I have a real difficulty <laughs> with animal faces. But I think hers turned out quite good. Uh, she is supposed to look very fierce and uh, like she's sort of roaring because that is something that this particular stuffed wombat does a lot. Hawthorne also invented a sort of society <laughs> for his imaginary uh, wombat people in the land of Wom, and he uh, invented, uh, what are they called, cultural, cultural norms. Some of those are that wombats like to bite people a lot and they are very passionate about everything and they love to yell a lot. A lot of Blunderbuss's uh, dialogue is in all caps and so she's a very fierce little thing except that she's not so little. F a few spoilers for the Fairyland series ahead. During the last book, Blunderbuss actually turns into a steed for a few of her riders, and so she gets turned really big, and thus, even though A through L is quite a large rivalry, she is now uh, somewhat comparable in size to him, as opposed to being a little handheld stuffed thing before. And the reason that I have depicted them together is that at the end of the last book, uh, these two have spent some time together and they have fallen in love and <laughs> uh, and because they are strange and not normally compatible creatures, they have invented a new way of kissing and that is that Blunderbuss <laughs> shoots a passion fruit out of her mouth, which is a thing that she can do because Hawthorne decided it was, I think. I'm not sure if he came with that information from Fairyland or if he invented it, but I feel like he invented it. Anyway, she shoots fruits out of her mouth as weapon projectiles, and uh, <laughs> to kiss A through L, she shoots a passion fruit out of her mouth, and then he uh, shoots fireball at it and uh, crisps it, and that's <laughs> their sweet thing that they do. <laughs> so that's the background of the characters and why I wanted to paint them. I'll briefly tell you some about the process of this painting. So A3L is described as being very bright red and vibrant and everything like that. So I decided to use a little bit of color theory in this piece and I decided to make the background something that would really make that red pop. And so I used greens and blues in the background. Green is complementary to red, it's on the opposite side of the color wheel, and blue is on the opposite side from orange. So since he is a mix of red and orange, that would really make him pop. And I definitely notice in my photos of my pieces, I will edit them when I have, um, in order to be able to make prints of them. And I usually dial up the contrast slightly and the, and I will also dial up the saturation slightly because usually in translation from the original piece to either a photo or a scan, you lose some of the vibrancy. And so I will usually dial that up. But in this case, I assume it was the colors, the, the contrasting colors that did this, but in the photo I had, it came across very vibrant, and so I'm very happy about that. And I'm also very pleased with how Blunderbuss turned out. I wasn't totally sure about it until I added the stitches on her, because I wasn't sure if I was going to add those or how dark I was going to make them. But once I added those stitches with my pens, uh, that turned out to look really like what I had pictured and what I think looks right for this character. Oh, and another thing I did that was slightly different than what I've done before is I used my pens for my outlining that were closer to the colors I was using. So on a L's body, I used uh, red pens and brown pens. Instead of using black pens like I do in a lot of my paintings, the way it turned out, you can see the lines and you can see uh, different parts of his body as being defined and yet it's not nearly as stark as I feel it sometimes is when I use the black pens. And so I'm very pleased that I did that and I think I'll be trying that again in some of my next pieces. Also the uh, flame and the passion fruit are both painted with acrylics because I Despite knowing what I plan to do for some reason I didn't leave space or an outline in the colors to put a flame and a passion fruit, so 
it was going to be really hard to put a bright yellow over top of this dark red and uh, blue and stuff. So I just used uh, acrylics and I think that turned out pretty good. Even though it doesn't look like it would have with watercolors, it does look nice and I think still suits the painting. So that is my A through L and Blunderbuss painting. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, I'm gonna be away for a week out of um, internet <laughs> connectivity. So if I don't respond to your comments, that's why I will be responding in a week when I get back. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.